I'm going to talk, uh, first of all, about uh, something from the November issue. I was responsible uh, for the, the photo on the cover. Um, along with the, the other members of the editorial board, I trawl the world in search of, of um, good physics demonstrations. Uh, and I took myself off to the American Association of Physics Teachers, uh, their summer conference, which was in <coughs> Portland, Oregon, in the summer, hoping to find wonderful stuff. And I found one or two uh, quite nice things, so, and I'll, I'll show them now. Um, first of all, this. Um, we're used to red laser pointers. We're used to green laser pointers. Um, uh, the blue-violet laser pointer is something which has just come on the, the market. Um, you can get them, uh, as you'll see on the next slide maybe, I think, from Amazon for six pounds nowadays. Um, basically, it's because of Blu-ray technology. This is, this is the same little laser thing that is in a Blu-ray player. Um, it's a, I think, gallium nitride producing pure uh, light at a wavelength of 405 nanometers. Okay? Um, now, that, the, the interesting thing about that is, I mean, okay, you, you can use them you know, to point at things. Uh, you can also maybe to use them in tandem with a red laser pointer and a green laser pointer through a diffraction grating just to show uh, where the different wavelengths end up. Um, but in, you can also use them because the 405 nanometers is getting very close to ultraviolet. And it turns out that they, they produce fluorescence. Um, so I'm going to dim the lights now. Okay, for the, I'm allowed to do this, I'm told. Um, this is just a bottle of water. And if I shine it through the bottle of water, it doesn't really do very much. But this is my magic water when it does a bit more. Um, and it's rather a nice demonstration, I think. Basically, this is tonic water. Um, and I hope you, you know that tonic water fluoresces in ultraviolet light. But it also fluoresces very nightly at 405 nanometers. Um, now, I, I then, I mean, this is nice in itself, I think, and you can spend a long time doing this. Um, um, and if you turn the screen off, it's even better. Um, and the, the photograph on the cover of Physics Education was basically showing something similar. Um, the physics teacher in me, though, said, well, can we take this a bit further? And I thought, ooh, can I, can I show total internal, because this isn't total internal reflection. It's, it's bouncing off the, um, the edge of the bottle, I think. Not, not, it's not total internal reflecting. So I thought, well, can, can we find some way of doing that? And, um, initially, I thought, well, I need some, maybe some long lengths of some fluorescent plastic. Unfortunately, I couldn't buy any fat ones. I can only buy thin ones. Um, but they still look quite nice. I, I think if you, if you shine it through them, you, you get you know, a, a nice effect. But, but having just bought these, I then noticed that the ends of these, they, they look rather bright, don't they? Um, and even with the lights on, um, they, they still look quite bright. Um, and I think that's, that's a fluorescent effect, obviously, that some of the light in this room is causing a fluorescence. But then it is trapped inside because of total internal reflection and all comes kind of at the end. So I thought that was, that was quite nice too. But not forgetting the electric guitar in the room. Can I, am, I allowed to, yeah, yeah. am I allowed to pick up the... Yeah. Um, Gary informed me um, as we were starting uh, that he was going to be using this today and it's fluorescent. Sorry, guys, I'm going to turn the lights off again. <laughs> Um, and uh, unfortunately, it doesn't go a long way through here, but you can, I think, see. Oh, wait, let's see. Can you see there? If I point it, can you see there is okay some total internal reflection going on at the top there? Um, it's, as I say, it seems to be quite absorbent. It doesn't actually travel very far, but um, certainly earlier. Well, it works best up there. There we go. Okay, uh, we are getting some total internal reflection. So I'm sure there are there are lots of uses for this that that I um, haven't come up with yet. One of the things that I have to give credit to a man called Randy Warland, who was the, uh, the guy from Seattle who, who demonstrated this. Um, and one of the things he, he actually didn't show it live, but he had a photograph of it. If you, if you take some photochromic uh, glasses, photochromic lenses, you can write letters on them with this, okay? Because it is, again, sufficiently near the ultraviolet that it does change the color. Um, you probably want to do that with somebody else's, not your own, but just in case. But, but apparently that, that is the case.